Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me when I call. Answer me quickly. For my days vanish like smoke. My bones burn like glowing embers. My heart is blight and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. In my distress, I groan aloud and am reduced to skin and bones. I'm like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake. I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long, my enemies taunt me. Those who rail against me use my name as a curse. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle my drink with tears because of your great wrath. For you have taken me up and thrown me aside. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your renown endures through all generations. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come, for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Psalm 102 verse 1 to 17 NIV. I don't know about you, but I can relate to this sorrow-filled prayer by the psalmist. Are there days when you feel nothing is working out, that the whole world is against you, that you can't eat because you're worried about tomorrow and how to make ends meet? The most incredible thing about our Father God is that He knows our hearts and understands our struggles. He doesn't take offense or get mad at us when we share our sorrows with Him. However, the psalmist did understand that regardless of his circumstances and what he was seeing in the natural, he knew that the Lord would rebuild the desolated places. Our Father God will respond to the prayer of the needy. Therefore, don't be afraid to tell God your wants, your dreams, your fears and your disappointments. He is a loving Father and longs for a relationship with you. A healthy relationship is one where you can share the good, the bad and the ugly. Give it all to him today and shift your heart from focusing on your problems to Father God who is your solution. Listen for his voice and trust that he will save and guide you through any circumstance. Let's pray. Abba Father, thank you that I can come to you with my disappointments, my fears and my broken heart. Thank you that you are the God of restoration and you love me and want the best for me. You take care of every situation and change it for my good. I believe that you hear and respond to the prayers of the destitute and will not despise their plea. I love you and thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.